Hello everybody. So today I'm going to uh, show you the master spool system. Some other uh, colleagues of mine have already recorded some YouTube videos about it. And uh, parallel to this one, I'm, I have, I'm also recording a version uh, in German. So um, if you are a native uh, German speaking YouTube watcher, uh, you can take a look at the German version too. Maybe it differs a little bit. I'm not uh, reading off a concept, you know, I'm just doing it free. Um, so, you know, some time ago I was discussing with Richard Horn over on Twitter uh, that it would be so nice if more filament producers would produce their filament on cardboard spools regarding, you know, the possibilities to recycle the, the, the spools. Yeah. And for instance, here I have a one from a reform from Form Futura. Yeah, it's a recycling filament and it comes on these cardboard spools. So yeah, that's, I like that a lot. Yeah. Or for instance, um, I still have here one on a, on a plastic spool, but um, Filamentive also sells their filament uh, now on cardboard spools. That's very nice. And so, and protopasta, yeah, that those are the three ones that I that I know personally. And um, then, let's say one month ago, Richard Horm came up with a new idea. He's a really a very smart guy. It's, it's incredible. I will put a link to his videos uh, below. And um, so he came up with the idea of creating a kind of master spool. Uh, this is here the version one. Um, as soon as he uh, posted the the the, video, uh, the link to the Thingiverse file I, I printed out uh, immediately. So of course you need a, a printer with um, 20 centimeters diameter to print it. And um, yeah, if you do not have one, uh, I think in the future the filament producers they will offer those uh, to buy. Yeah, so maybe you buy two or three or four of these spools, and then you only have to buy the refills. Yeah, it saves lots of money. Um, yeah, for instance, I live in Liechtenstein and I always have to pay so much for the shipping uh, and for the customs. Uh, and I think in the future I, I, I will save a lot of money uh, because I only have to buy the refills. Yeah? And I hope that more, more filament uh, producers will uh, start selling these refills. So in the meantime, he has already released uh, version number four. Uh, there he added some upgrades, so let me <coughs> put the, the spool here together. As you see, it just goes together like that. And there are some notches in here, for instance, um, because the, the filament uh, coils, the refill coils, they come uh, fixed with zip ties. And then you just put them on the spool together with the zip ties, and then you just cut, cut uh, open the zip tie when, when it's uh, yeah, put together like that. So yeah, this is the version number one. And the version number four, if you take a look here, um, it, it has already some upgrades. So uh, you see here, there's a window where you can see how much uh, filament you have already used. Yeah, or the, those windows here, it's, it looks a little bit more fancy. And it also has, for instance here, what I could see up to now, it has a hole where you can slip in the end of the, the coil. So it doesn't, um, rotate because once uh, you have a little bit of uh, filament left it could uh, rotate yeah because there's no fixture so because this one here didn't have it yet and this one has it so you can just slip in the end and then it's fixed yeah and the other thing that i could see up to now i, I think when, once i'm using it i will understand a bit better what maybe the other uh, differences too that i didn't notice yet um for instance here there's there's a hole and there you can slip in the end yeah, so it doesn't tangle. <clears throat> Good. So the first two uh, filament uh, companies that um, reacted were uh, Das Filament, and they were really incredible because, you know, I created a, a post on Twitter and asking filament uh, companies if they want to um, create some refills. And uh, the first one that reacted, and that was in, in uh, 24 hours, they uh, realized this concept. And it was the company called Das Filament from Germany. And um, I already received some, some of those refills. In the meantime, I will open up the box in a, in a moment, so we can try to, to put it on here. But 
you know what? Reacting in 24 hours from a concept to a finished product is really incredible. So in the, the second company uh, that um, created those refills in the meantime is a company from Sweden called Ad North. Uh, I will also uh, order some of their coils uh, to see how that filament is. I've never worked with it. Okay, so let's crack open the box and see how it works. Okay. Let's load the coils on there. Yeah. I'm going to push them up there now. Okay, so I also received some samples uh, for, for testing purposes, which I also ordered. Uh, very nice colors. white uh, black So I don't know if I cut it, but I think it should work. Still very stable, though. So. I'm going to put it on this one. Okay, can you see the end here? I'm going to put it... Mm, mm. On here. the other way around. Ah, that's quite good. Ah, super. Okay. <laughs> I think I have to grab a knife that is sharper. Okay. Oh yeah. 
So the purpose of this window is so you can uh, put on a, a zip tie afterwards. Yeah, you, so you can take it off and put it on again. So now that when I want to print with it, I want to store it, then I can store it in one of those uh, little notches over there. Maybe it works better that way. Yeah. Oh, super. I really like it. Yeah. Now let's try the first version. We don't have this notch for the beginning of the coil, but I think it doesn't matter. Um, hmm, but I could. So let's give it a try. Um, oh. I still got to test something on the other one. This is the bag. See if the spool fits inside. Ah, okay. It fits inside and you can still secure it with a clip. Super. Okay, so I forgot something very important. The window. There you can put the sticker. Oh. Okay. So let's put it aside. I could do it like that. Let's see. Just gonna cut them. Sometimes you just have to know how to help yourself. Okay, a small upgrade. <laughs> it should work like that too. Very good, okay. okay. Oh, okay, that works very well. Even on version one. Okay. Good. Super. Okay, so um, as you have seen, it went quite well. Um, on this um, coil here, the uh, one zip tie uh, was broken, but I think uh, we shouldn't be too critical uh, as this uh, is one of the first batches that they have produced. 
uh, as you could see the the bag is really uh, secured uh, very well with vacuum and uh, I think even if one zip tie is loose here uh, it is nothing will happen yeah and uh, I think in the future this this won't happen anymore I think they want to work on it and uh, as you could see I worked with the version number one and the version number four and on this one I simply uh, cut, a, um, cut a notch on the inside to secure the beginning of the, the coil here and it doesn't get loose and it, it works really fine. So I'm going to try this filament. I've never uh, printed with uh, dust filament before. It's going to be the first time to, for me to use it. Um, at the moment um, the, the stickers here are still on white. Uh, but I think as they're now selling uh, the filaments, hopefully worldwide, they've already uh, uh, set up the, the, the web page uh, also in English, not only German. And uh, the stickers at the moment are here in, in German, but I think they will also change that quite quickly uh, so that they're also going to be in English. And uh, the the other one, Add North, that I uh, s talked about before, uh, I think I will also uh, go to the website and, and order some of their coils to, to, to test them too. And um, I maybe I will do a follow-up. And um, yes, so it was for me an experience, quite an experience to record this, this video in both German and English. Um, and yeah, so I'm waiting now for some comments on the German one, if people like it. So I, maybe in the future I will also record the videos in German. And uh, I was asking um, there, especially also the, the ladies, and not only uh, German speaking uh, ladies, but also English speaking ladies, then not so much of us. Uh, I really want to encourage you to get into 3D printing or if you already do so, uh, maybe also to, to start uh, recording some videos about what you do, maybe some cosplay or um, painting, uh, printing stuff and then painting it. You know, there's so much uh, project that, projects that you can 3D print. Why not show off what you're doing? Yeah? Not only the men, but all the, also the ladies can do this, you know. Um, good, I hope you liked it and yeah, see you next time and like always, bye bye.